Hello, good morning everybody. Thank you for tuning into Virtual Storytime with the National Railroad Museum. I'm your host, Engineer Alyssa. If you're watching this live on Facebook, please comment and let us know that you're here and share it with your friends. Also, we like to invite you to like our page and to follow us so you can stay up to date with everything that's happening at the museum. The National Railroad Museum is a nonprofit organization supported by private and public donations and by our members. For more information about supporting the museum or becoming a member, please visit nationalrrmuseum.org. Today, our book is Curious George's Train. So this is actually a really short book. It's one of those like wooden cardboard books. And these wheels, I think it's really fun because they can move. Um, Curious George is so much fun. Um, I like all of the books that they come out with with Curious George. And I know my nieces love the little TV show in the movies. So they're, I think their favorite one is the one with the pumpkin for Halloween. Um, but yeah, a couple of things with this book. They talk about train tracks and watching the train tracks outside of the train. And I know when I'm conducting... Um, our train at the museum, I always tell people, especially when we go over the bridge, to look over the side because it's actually called a floating bridge because when you do look over the edge, you don't see the track because the train car is wider than the track is, so you might not necessarily see the track um, over the floating bridge. So I always think that's kind of cool to point out. Um, and plus, just going over the bridge, especially in the open air car, is pretty neat to begin with. If you do look through, like, the wood, um, the little slats in the water, the little slots, you might be able to see it, um, the track, but it's definitely there, but sometimes you just can't see it because the car is a little wider than the track. So here's our book. It actually has a little flap, and I'll get to that, um, later, probably why. But here's our book, Curious George's Train. Choo choo, choo choo, the engine's pulling in. George is so excited for the train ride to begin. So they're taking a scenic train tour. The conductor calls all aboard, it's time to take a ride. George swings up top to catch the view before he climbs inside. So can you see George? There he is, right? He better get down from there before the train ride starts. George's friend leads the way and finds them both a seat. George gets his own ticket. Today is such a treat. So for you that have been at the museum before, if you want to comment and tell me your favorite person to visit the train ride with, you are more than welcome to. Um, I like riding the train with my coworker Justin. Um, he knows a lot about all of the equipment and can answer really hard questions and I always just like taking the train ride with him. On the move, there they go, he hears the whistles blow. George looks outside his window at the train tracks down below. So here's where we were talking about seeing the train tracks. The train is moving fast now, it chugs and lugs and glides. Headlights guide the engine's way while George rides safe inside. And there they are, going through a tunnel. Oh my, what an adventure. George steps outside the door. Now help him lay the tracks down so he can ride once more. And then, this is interesting, and this is why I chose this book. Um, if you did decide to ever get this book, these, if you can see, they can actually pop out. So this is like a puzzle piece, these two, and they kind of fit together. And then you have a piece up here 
oops, I'm sorry, and down here, if you can kind of see that with that shiny book glare, and you have uh, the crossing gate lights, and George, and you use these to make these stand up. So you can make your own track and have little stand-up characters. And um, I'm not 100% sure. I'm not going to punch these out. But if you got them out, stood them up, and took them apart again, and kind of set them back in the place where they go, you can kind of close this little flap and it'll stay right in there. So I think this is super fun. At the end of the book, um, where you can take your own George and your own crossing gate and kind of make up your own little scene for the train tracks. Um, but yeah, so George finally got back to the depot and then the end of our book. So we had a fun little adventure with George and like I said at the end of the story, they have that option to where you can make your own George um, train tracks. Um, I'll be posting craft down below, also on our website in the activity zone, where you can find all of my past story times, and I'm also up on YouTube um, under the National Railroad Museum page. Otherwise, if you just search Engineer Alyssa, it should pop up. Um, I will be back the rest of the week, every day at 10 a.m., just like normal. So I hope to see you guys tomorrow at 10. Bye!